Hey, it's Chessie from Squeegee and Ink. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to separate your artwork ready for screen printing. So we're gonna be using Adobe Illustrator and we're gonna separate the colors. I'm gonna show you how to scale it, add registration marks, and I'm gonna show you a quick little tip on how to put an underbase under there as well. The artwork that I'm showing you on today is actually from our own clothing brand. So our brand is called Blind Maggot and um, we're giving all of our squeegee viewers a massive £10 off every t-shirt order. Um, these shirts are printed in limited edition so you have to be quick if you're going to use it. But the discount code is squeegee and I'm going to show you how to spell that in the, in the description below. Um, okay, I'm going to get ahead and uh, separate this image. Okay, so the first step, we're going to be using our registration template. This is something you can get off the website shop. Um, so I've downloaded that and I've got my artwork layer selected. And I'm going to go File Place, or you can go Shift Command P, and I'm going to find my artwork. So mine's going to be called Not Today Satan, because that's just what the artwork's called. I'm just going to place that in there and then I'm going to embed it. So this is an Illustrator file. And then it's going to have this um, um, kind of like artboard line around it, which you can just select and delete out. And then it's a normal vector. So this has got white in it and you know teal and gold. So it's going to be a three color image. I'm also going to show you how to do that underbase as well. So the first thing to do would be to scale this image. So I already know I want this 27 centimeters wide across the chest um, just because I want it nice and chunky. So I'm going to go over to the width and I'm going to change that to 270, press enter and then it's got this constrained width so it will change it nice and proportionally and won't warp it. There you go and now I'm going to hold that and I'm going to drag it over but first of all actually I'm going to put some uh, lines to register up against. So I know I'm going to be using uh, the large screen. So I've got some screens in my layers here because I'm in the most updated version of Illustrator. Um, what we've done is we've put different screen sizes on the layers. So if I toggle this on so I can see those, this is our kind of like template registration lines. So if I have those on and I zoom in a little bit, I can, I can change and I can take my image and I can center it on here. So if I look at this center mark here, I can just pop that there and move it down so it's really nicely in the center of those registration marks, like that. Okay, so I know that my image here is gonna fit on a nice 23 by 31 size screen. It's gonna be nice and safe in there. Um, now the next thing to do would be to lock it down and make sure our registration marks which are included in the artwork layer um, are going to be over these crosshairs. So now I've got that selected I can press command 2 or say object lock selection and then I can zoom in. So the registration template that I'm using already has these registration marks. It's Of course it's fine if you use your own template um, please just make sure your registration marks are vector because they just expose better and you're going to just find that much easier. So if I select both of these, I want them on some crosshairs that are away from the image area. So I can just pull them up. If I hold down shift at the same time, then they'll stay in the same um, kind of line. So I can put them there, that'd be good. And that's just going to line up to a um, a registration template that I've got for my screens. So now I'm going to come down, select these two as well, and I'm going to bring them down, holding shift at the same time. Drag them down. Oh, where are they and I'm going to put them on these crosshairs. So at this point, I've got it to the right scale, and I've added in those reg marks. So I can go ahead and select all of that, make sure I get all these, and it's all on this artwork layer. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to paste it over to a new artboard. So I'm going to press Command V and paste that in. Because my artwork has white in it, I'm going to actually be doing the separating just off here. So I'm going to drag that over here. Great. So now we're ready to start separating that image. What I like to do is to 
have like a kind of master copy to kind of reference to make sure I haven't deleted any important areas. So I'm going to copy that one and then I'm going to paste all the other layers and then go, go back and label them all. So that one will be the teal. This can be the kind of gold yellow colour. That will be white and this will be the underbase. So I'm just going to go up here and label those with the text tool there. So this is going to be my master. And then this one's going to be teal. Yellow. White and then if you did want to do an underbase, this one's going to be the underbase there. On our one, we're actually not going to do an underbase, but I've got a quick little tip, so I'm going to put it in there just for afterwards in case you wanted to know how to do that. So at this stage, we can just lock this master layer so I don't accidentally do anything to it. So I can just hover over all of it and then I can press Command 2 or I can go Object. Um, lock and then it will be lock selection there. So now I can't accidentally ruin that one. First one I'm going to work on is the teal layer. So this is just something I like to do is I, I go in and I select that colour and I go select, same, fill colour and stroke and it will select all of that colour all the way through the image. So then I want to delete out anything that's teal from the yellow and white layers. So I go um, onto my eraser tool, which is here, or Shift D, and I make a big eraser and I take out all the teal from the yellow layer and the white layer, like that. That was really easy. And now um, I go ahead and lock, I can basically take the teal here, select the same again. I can lock it down again, and then I can go over this teal layer with my eraser, and I can erase everything that isn't teal. And that leaves only the teal color from the selection. So then I can go ahead and do that with yellow and white. So object, unlock all. I can lock the master in the teal at this point, and I want to keep that underbase locked as well, just for just so I don't accidentally do anything to it. So on this yellow layer, I want to remove all this white. So I can I can do it in two ways. I can select the white, go select, same, fill colour and stroke, and I can delete it. And as I've actually got the white selected already, I could lock that down and change it, but I'll just do it, do it nicely for you. Select anything that's yellow. Select, same, fill colour and stroke. And get that eraser, and I can just be quite careful and just delete out all the yellow areas in that. And there you go, I've got only the white and we can go again and cross-reference it against the master copy. Um, it all looks good from here, so you can just check things like that maggot is there and there and the blind is the right colour. So at this point I can go ahead and turn it all black, but um, I just wanted to show you how to do this under base layer quickly. This design is going to be used on a black shirt. Um, we're choosing not to use an underbase for our design, um, but I know a lot of you will want to. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. You can lock down all these other layers so I don't do anything to them. So that's Command 2 again, and I can go into this underbase. So one of the easiest ways to do this would be to turn everything into one color and then add a stroke. So let's go ahead and do that. So Let's take the teal, select, same, fill colour and stroke. And I think I'm going to turn it this white colour. So I can use the eyedropper tool, which is here. Or you can just press I on the keyboard and select any colour. 
like that. And then I'm going to do the same to this gold. Select the same full column stroke I on the keyboard. Target some white and that will target the white. And then when I've got this, what I need to do is add a stroke to all of this white here. If I select it all like that, it might um, add in some extra lines that I don't want. So I need to do I need to do the long way around and select something that's white. Same, fill colour and stroke, and then select it all of that. Now this is just a quick little way of doing it. So the white layer actually needs to be um, smaller proportionally all the way around underneath those colours. So those colours are printed on top, but they actually overlap into the t-shirt colour slightly. So I need to kind of contract the white proportionally. So a really clever way of doing that, it's really easy. You've got all the white selected and you can add a stroke. So most people go for about one point stroke. If I make that stroke colour, just double tap on the stroke layer. I'm just going to make it a bright pink so you can see it nice and vivid. So when I go away, you can see that it's put it on there. Um, just want to make sure that stroke is actually um, aligned the stroke to the centre like that. So then it's going to really eat into that um, layer. Make that pink again. Like that. And then if I expand that, object expand, and it should bring up this box here and it says expand the fill and the stroke. If I press OK, then it's not really a stroke anymore. It's kind of like another object next to it. So let me show you that. See how it's expanded out these lines. It's not like a single stroke. Um, and then what I can do, if I go out again, what I want to do is to kind of like cookie cut that pink out of the, the white. So if you select it, make sure you get all of it, you can open up the Pathfinder tool. So if you do that, you can go Window and then Tick Pathfinder. Mine's already ticked, so I can go over here. And there's this really good little Pathfinder and it's called Trim. So if I do that, it's basically a cookie cutter, so I can trim the layers out of each other. Um, now that's trimmed, they're actually two separate things. So I can go ahead and take some of that hot pink colour, select same fill colour and stroke, and I can delete it out. And that means that the, the white has now been chopped out of itself, and it's, it's a choke, so it's smaller than it's smaller footprint than it was before. Brilliant. So now I've got all of my layers separated out, they're at scale, they've got their reg marks and I have an underbase if I wanted it. At this point I want to make it print ready. Um, we're all going to have different printers and settings that we should apply to those layers but everybody needs to be able to make it pure black. So if I um, unlock all my layers I'm going to turn them to a black which is, when you look at it in the colour picker I use all the zeros here as the hex code. So I can even make myself a little square and then use the eyedropper tool if I wanted to. So quickly do the, oh, should I lock down the master just so I don't do that one? So I can select the teal and then I can eyedropper or just press I on the keyboard and target that black. I can do the same for the, the yellow gold color Target that black and same for the white. Awesome. I can't see any weird bits. I keep cross referencing it to the master copy. You'd do the same for the underbase if you wanted that one. And that is perfect. It's all ready to print. I'm literally going to drag it onto my artboard and I'm going to output that film. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really liked it and hope it helped. Um, please leave any questions in the comments below and like and subscribe. And remember, if you like this shirt, you can still go over to blindmaggot.co.uk and use our discount code squeegee to get a massive 10 pounds off those shirts. They're in limited edition, so you better be quick.
Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> you put the, the board and it goes like <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> can, can I still go, yeah? Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.